Yo, what's up? I'm Doris. Just gonna show you guys a quick, uh, easy route on interchange. A couple routes that you can make a lot of good money. So the main thing you're gonna need to make this this loot run successful is an SJ6 stem. This stem is gonna boost your endurance and make it so you can run a lot further, which is gonna be key to to doing this loot run efficiently. Because you're gonna be able to get in and out of the mall so quickly that you're gonna be able to beat a lot of people there and also beat a lot of the uh, you know, chance of getting caught up in some PVP. You're gonna be able to run through, grab the loot and be out of the mall before most people are even like getting into the mall or they're just getting in there. So you're able to avoid them and get out pretty easily. So it's a medium high risk, uh, but high reward loot run. You can find a lot of GPUs, Tetrises on interchange, which is gonna be your main things. And you're also looking for like motors and other other hardware spawns that you can sell on the fleet for a decent amount of money power cords helixes you know circuit boards ram whatever you can pick up you're pretty much just going to be picking up everything and making your way to whatever your extract is so let me show you the couple different routes that you would take depending on where you spawn and, and how to make the most money off them but the main key to these routes is just to, to keep moving towards the extract so you're just looting on your way to the extract you're just trying to hit Tech, tech Light, Rasmussen, and Texo are your three main locations. Then anything else you can loot on the way. All right, so I wanted to show you guys this map first so you can get an idea for the spawns and where you should be going from each spawn. I'm gonna show the routes as well uh, with the video showing where all the loot is and everything, but I want to show the map first. So I'm just gonna go over the spawns real quick. So with these two spawns out in the front of the mall, you're just gonna head in and you're gonna go in the middle of the mall you're gonna go up into there, and then you're gonna head over to your three main stores that you're looking to hit, which is Rasmussen, Texo, and Tech Light. And then once you hit those, you'll just make your way out either through Ollie or through the back of uh, Goshen here, and you'll head to Emercom. Uh, if you get this spawn right here, you're actually just gonna go all the way down the highway. You're just gonna go right into the front of Ollie, and then again, you're gonna go into the mall, Texo, Rasmussen, Tech Light and then you're gonna head out back and head over to Emercom again. Um, if you actually spawn by Emercom, this is one of the better spawns, uh, you'll go into Ollie from the back side here. Same thing, Rasmutant Tech Light. And then you're actually gonna go out the front and you can hit these stashes on the way out, which I'll show you where all those are. And then you take the railway exit out. If you spawn over by the railway at these two spawns at the north part of the map here, you're actually gonna go into Idea. So this route's a little bit different. Uh, again, I'm gonna show that, but you'll loot this this little store in Idea, and then you'll actually cut through. You loot a store in, in the middle part of the mall here, and then you go into Goshen, and then you can just go out the back of Goshen and go over to Emercom and Extract. And then if you spawn at Power, uh, same thing, you're just going in the back of Idea instead of the front or side of idea and then there's one last spawn back here behind goshen which you're actually going to go underneath and then you're going to come up into goshen and then from there you can loot the lockers and then head up into tech light and then same thing you go out and down and out the front and then you can hit these stashes on your way out and hit railway so it's actually a pretty good spawn as well uh, but just don't forget uh, SJ6 is going to be key to these runs. So make sure that you're bringing an SJ6 with you because that's what's going to get you in and out of the mall uh, incredibly fast, which is going to maximize the amount of loot you can get in a short amount of time. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you guys all the routes with all the loot and where everything spawns in the following clips here. All right, so we got a pretty far spawn, but first thing you always want to remember to do is pop that SJ6. This is one of those two spawns on the left side of the map on the highway. So you're going to want to run straight into the middle of the mall from these spawns and just go right up the middle. And remember, our three main locations are Rasmussen, Texo, and Tech Light. Those are where we're going to get the most loot the fastest and be able to get in and out. So first we have Rasmussen here. Uh, you can find Tetrises, GPUs, hardware spawns, motors, PSUs, all this stuff spawns on the shelves in here. Um, so make sure you check all these spots in here. And then you're gonna run over to Texo here. Same thing, just check the shelves. You can get GPUs, Tetrises, motors, uh, 
other valuable hardware loot. So check all that stuff. And then you're gonna move around. You can check this box right here. It does spawn a red X sometimes. Pretty rare, but it does spawn them. Then you're gonna go up, up the tech, tech light here. And this is our third location. So you just wanna check all the shelves in here. Make sure you're being thorough, because sometimes it is hard to see like a Tetris when you're lying flat on the shelf. So just be on the lookout for those. And then you can go across here, check uh, right in this spot has Ledex. Rarely spawns there, but it does happen sometimes. So then you've got two ways you can get out of here. You can go back down or you can go over into the secret exit and go out that way. Um, for this one, we have Emercom, so we're gonna go down here into Ollie. You can loot Ollie if you got time or you want to. Uh, a lot of good stuff spawns in here, motors, uh, other hardware spawns, water filters, gasoline, uh, the silicone hoses can be all right to pick up, but you're mostly just trying to get to the exit as fast as possible. So just run through here, there's a toolbox back there if you still need some loot. And then you run out the back here and you run down to Emercom and you're out. That's basically that spawn. So then we have our, our Emercom spawns out in the back of Emercom. So same thing, you're gonna wanna pop that SJ6 as soon as you spawn in, start running towards all. So when I get this spawn, I usually don't loot Ollie on my way in because it's going to slow me down. I'm not going to be able to get the Texo and Rasmutin and Tech Light as fast. So you're you're one of the closer spots. So you want to just run through Ollie, pick up some stuff along the way. If you see something on the way, like you, know, you might see a motor on the shelf or something like that. Like there's a motor, there's another motor, there's another motor. You can pick those up on the way. But you don't want to spend too much time in Ollie. You want to just be trying to get through because people are going to be coming in on your left over there. So then you run in here, you're gonna run straight to Texo. You're looking for those GPUs and Tetrises again. So just check all the shelves here, same as last time. And then you can run over to Rasmutin if you want, or you can go straight up to Tech Light, up to you. But Rasmutin's a pretty quick check and you can get a lot of good loot. Definitely check that spawn because there's a lot of Tetris that spawn right there. So make sure you check that one. But then anyway, you go up to Tech Light. Same thing as last time, you're gonna go in Tech Light, make sure you're checking all the shelves. Um, so many Tetrises and GPUs spawn on this map, and then you just mix in the motors and the PSUs. You're making pretty good money every time. Same thing, come in here, check that Ledex spawn, and then you're gonna run out here. The Ledex is super rare, but it does spawn. You wanna be careful when you're coming this way, but you're looking to exit the mall right now. But you might have people around here, so just keep your, keep your wits about you. Get your stamina back. You're gonna run down this escalator and out the front of the mall. Um, so this spawn I think is probably one of the better ones because uh, you can loot all those stores and then you can just follow this tree line if you want. There's a lot of stashes on your way out you can hit. So you can go right to the fence line uh, over on your left down there and you can just hit those four stashes that are back there. But if you want to hit them all, just follow this tree line, come into this little uh, go-kart patch. You can run right over those tires if you hit them in the gap and then there's a stash right in the middle here. And then same thing, run out of here, run over the, the gap in those tires. You can run right over it without jumping. And you have another stash over here in the bush. Uh, so that's your second one. And then you have the third stash underneath this, this uh, inner pass thing here. So you can check that one right there. And then once you've checked those, you can run up the front here and you can hit the four stashes in the back. Don't sleep on these stashes because you can get pretty much anything out of a stash. So like there's a lot of valuable loot to be had. So definitely don't sleep on the stashes. Um, so you're gonna run out here. I like to go just left to right. So I usually cut down here and I'll hit the first stash. It's pretty much just uh, perpendicular to this blue fence behind you right here. And you're just gonna run over here, hit this stash. Then you're gonna go straight across. The second stash can be a little hard to find because it's kind of just next to a tree. But if you go straight, you're gonna run right over it. So there it is right there. Um, just go straight from the other stash. Then you're gonna run back over here. You're gonna go to the second pile of rubble right here. And there's this barrel stash right here. That's the third stash. And then um, you run back here and you hit this one right here on the ground, just keep following the fence, and then there's another stash right over here by this rubble pile. So there's actually five stashes back here. I said, said four before, but there's actually five back there. And then you got railway, so then you can just run straight out railway and you're going free. So pretty easy loot run if you spawn over on the Evercom side. That's, that's pretty much your route you want to take. So you can sometimes get this spawn over here, where you kind of spawn by the, the overpass. You can hit these stashes on the way in if you want, 
um, but I usually don't. I pop my SJ6 and I start running in because um, you're going to want to go into idea from any of these two spots on the side right here. So you just go right up in the idea and there's just one main spot you want to check and it's this room right here. So you can get GPUs, Tetrises, there's computers in here, GPU spots on that box. Uh, on these shelves, you can find GPUs just like that. And then these shelves here, same thing. So then you're going to go back out the front and you're just going to cut down here behind the registers. Uh, this register right here, you can find like GPUs, Tetrises, stuff that spawns on that, that number 10 register. So it's a good little check. Then you're going to cut through here. Uh, you should still be pretty early, so you shouldn't have competition. You can jump over this box or you can go in the front there if you can't do the jump. Um, and then you got GPUs, Tetrises, same thing, spawning all on these shelves in here. So check all those, and then you're going to want to make your way over to Goshen. Um, so Goshen's got, got the lockers over on the, the side here, up at the front of Goshen, which spawn a ton of Bitcoins, gold chains, so it's a really good check. But basically with this spawn, you know, you're going to want to check that, and you can just go right out the back of Goshen if you want, and leave. So you can either go check that stuff, or you can go out the back of Goshen and just leave. Um, and then this spawn right here, you might spawn out here on the highway. You're going to want to go in underneath the mall. You're going to want to take a left. You're going to want to take another left until you see this little stairwell thing. And you go up here and same thing. You're in Goshen now, though, and you spawn back here. So you actually have the railway extract. So you're just going to want to do the same thing. You go up to the front of Goshen, you loot those lockers that I'm going to show in the next clips here. And then you just go out up the tech light, go out the front of the mall, and you're good to go hit the stashes on your way out so this is just an alternate route right here that i'm showing uh say you were up at tech light you didn't want to go down so you can just run down this hallway go down the staircase come to this computer room and there's computers uh weapon spawns and then the lockers i've been talking about are right here and this is just another alternate route say you're in rasputin and you just want to go out goshen uh just head over this way same thing hit the lockers right here and you're home so you want to check all these lockers. Every one of these cubbies can spawn a pit. So just make sure you're doing a thorough check on these because you don't want to miss a pit point, obviously. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So then you can just go out the, out the back here. You can slide around the side or you can go out the middle here. Come through here. Go over here. You're going to want to take a right. If you came out the middle, just take a right. Come right down here. Look out for scavs out here because they do like to be out here, especially right down there. And just hop up on this, walk down a bit, drop off, and then you can just run out the back here to Emmercom and you're home free. So those are basically basically all the, the routes that you're gonna need. Uh, there is a stash right here too. It's kinda out in the open. I don't like to hit it, but feeling risky or it looks clear, just hit that and then run over here to Emmercom and you're pretty much all set to extract. And that's all there is to it. That's basically how to make quick money on interchange, just getting in and out. It's uh, it's a little bit of a high risk, high reward kind of loot run, but honestly with the SJ6, it's, it's I would honestly say more like a medium risk because you're, you're going through the, the mall so quick that a lot of the time you're gonna be in there before anybody can catch up to you. And you have multiple ways you can go so you can avoid people pretty easily. There's a lot of other places you can loot inside Interchange. So depending on how you want to exit the mall, you can, you can make good profit just hitting stuff on your way. If you found this video helpful, uh, please leave a like, a comment, uh, and subscribe to the channel. We've been releasing Tarkov content daily, so definitely more stuff to come. And any feedback is definitely appreciated. Any way I can make this guide or guides like this better in the future, I would love to hear it. So just leave it in the comment section. All right, y'all. Increase the beast.